Hello everybody, welcome to an amazing first round match of Super League. We've got Andy Davo, maybe the defending champion with the exactly same team. We don't know if he's champion yet because we have to get the next season of Super League out super fast. Um, but he might be the defending champion, he plays Sea Brawls next week. And uh, up against Hiru, who finally changed, Hiru has finally changed from his Dwarves to a Necro team and they both have exactly the same team. Um, it's really the only build I think. Um, Diamed went for a variation last season, but that was just to like you know practice and test things. Um, I think this is the obvious best team. The only thing is maybe a Wrestle Wolf and a Block Wolf, like rather than two block. But you know, it's probably it's probably safer just to go two block wolves, honestly. Um, so the thing about the the thing about Necros in Naf Ladder is in the actual Euro Bowl rules, they get to give up a skill to get 30 more TV. So in Super League, we're doing, we're, we're using the, the proper, you know, because it's easier for me to, you know, accept all the teams, uh, well, not me, uh, J5 to, like, check all the teams. Whereas, you know, if you're, if you're doing loads of teams, does, does, does Hiru think he's on defense? No, because he's got a wolf there. I don't know what's happening. He got blitzed on. He's not even really in a blitz defense, but anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know what what Hero's doing here with this setup. So yeah, the package for Euro Bowl means you can drop a skill for thirty TV, which then means instead of like a DP zombie, you get to upgrade that to a ghoul. Or you get a reserve because, like you know, it's just whichever way it's kind of like annoying. Right, you're just a little bit short, and it's it's a bit rubbish without the package because um, eleven men is very is very dodgy, and only one ghoul is very dodgy. So ne neither neither solution is nice. Um, Hiru is the same coach as it. He had a few, right? Gestionador, I think, in Hiru Mazeo, and there was another one. I'm I'm sure he's had like he had two alts. And, uh, Blood Bowl too, maybe more. But he's won. He's won Chalice before. So you know, he's no slouch. He's no slouch. Brain worms from the Blood Bowl three Discord. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was pretty special today in the Blood Bowl three Discord. And hello, Martin Crew. <laughs> Art does have rather ridiculously high standards for people. It's true. Um, so there you go. Where hey, Murda? Thanks for the raid, Chrissy B. Yeah, so to joy, yeah, like it. De it all depends on the package, right? Like, if they if they get all if they get all of the stuff, like they get twelve hundred TV for Euro Bowl, right? Like that is massive. That twelve hundred TV is what they want. So they get basically Necro are getting the most amount of value out of team buying TV, right? The additional team buying TV, they get the most value out of it. Whereas teams like Dwarves don't get that much more out of more money and stuff like, you know, particularly dwarves, right? Dwarves get everything for, like, very cheap, and then they're like, well, I don't need all of this extra money. Whereas Necro really want to spend lots and lots of money because their players are very, very, very expensive. Ridiculously expensive, in fact. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty much true, yeah, Bucky. That is pretty much how I... <laughs> how art rates people uh, there's a certain amount of validity to it as well you know at the end of the day oh my god he's foul appearance failed the wolf would be a two into an uphill doesn't want to do that So, 
Nothing, we can't really blitz anybody with a wolf, can he? So I guess he's just going to run back. Yeah, Necro are a weird one. They've kind of gone into the uh, Skaven slot of tending to be under-tiered or over-tiered, right? It's hard to get them to a point where they're all right, you know? They tend to be, they tend to get a package which makes them not good enough or a package that makes them too good. Also, they're very dicey. They're very, they're, they're weird, right? They're like, they're like a bash team, which are generally less dicey, but then somehow way more dicey than a normal bash team. Like, for instance, orcs, where, oh my god. I mean, the dodge was probably alright, but, uh, getting KO'd, like, that's the thing, right? Like, they've got so much on the, on the amazing players, right? Like, they've got six really good players, but losing any of them is really, really bad. And they've only got four people who can hold the ball, so losing any of those is big. So they're, they're always, like, you know, kind of on the verge of a dicing themselves a little bit. And then... But they also, like, kind of snowball and steamroll better than, like, anybody else, I think. So they're, they're a weird, weird team, uh, Necro. Nobody for the wolf to hit. stream is so far behind I, don't, I wonder why <clears throat> that's very off-putting doesn't get the knockdown now he gets to punch back with a white wraith whatever it's called Might even get to hit with a wolf here as well. Take the both down. They are interesting, Necro. There is a lot to them. I'm, I maybe I should practice them more. That's the big advantage that Andy's got in these in these games, isn't it? I don't know how much Necro heroes played. I've played approximately zero games <laughs> with the new rules, <laughs> and uh, you know, I, st I still won three. To be fair, won three, lost two, but uh, it was, you know, it's a big difference between having played none and having played. 60 on tabletop, or however many he's played on tabletop. I'm sure somebody will know. Ooh, I feel like the uh, Fleshy doing this is kind of better, right? Even though this gives up the follow-up hit from, for the Fleshy. You really want a chain to get the other hit anyway, right? On a pow, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. And then I guess the flesh is going to come up here. Very aggressive. I think I would have just gone like three and then hit. And then like just hold him there. But this is interesting, isn't it? Now surely this guy's going to come up here. To protect might get the zombie down. Not zombie, what's it, a ghoul? The problem is if he pushes the ghoul now, then the... No, I guess it's okay. Gets the power. Wow. 
Well, that was a nice, that was a nice blitz in the follow-up hit, wasn't it? There's a chance, I guess, that Devo just puts in a guard and uh, 1D uphills and then surfs this. I don't think so. I think even Devo isn't that uh, crazy. Okay, this is mad. This is absolutely mad. Put him one back. Okay, one across. Yeah, you can't have him right next to the flesh. Oh dear, okay. Wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Man, what do I know? I just get people surf for free. I still can't get over that game, but never mind. Yeah, this is this is rowdy, like right? this is guys a million percent getting blitz, right? Well, maybe not, right? Because hmm, you really want to hit this guy. And you can easily. You can just hit this guy twice with a claw. And then you hit this guy with twice with a, with a block. So, yeah, he just blitz this one. But you'd really want to hit him as well. But this guy's defenseless is an armor 7, isn't he? So, so you've, you've got to blitz him. You have to blitz him. And then that will give you the assist for hitting this guy as well. You can put the uh, Wraith there, Ghoul there. I don't think there's much to think about. Okay, he goes for the wolf. Interesting. Like, it's great, obviously, isolating the wolf out there is very nice. But, um, it was also really nice. Oh, yeah, okay, you can just go and bang him. Yeah, okay. I was thinking of it as getting the extra hit on the fleshy, but, yeah, you're hitting the fleshy anyway with guard, so it's getting you the hit on the wolf instead of the ghoul. So, yeah, I was a dumbass. <laughs> Andy was right. Yeah, you just hit him anyway because you got a card. Way better. That's a nice non stand firm, though. If he doesn't die, he does not die. We go for an no, no more hits. Oh no, that would have been one day, wouldn't it? He could have, uh, he could have gone for a hit here, though, couldn't he? We seek all the way around. Maybe he just fleshy blitzes. Fleshy blitzes and pushes him out of there, and then, then that gives him this hit on there. And then he can just run out in front. Ugh, only a push. Diced. He's got to push the ghoul, right? Only can push him and then he can punch him. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. How to know which squares these are in, isn't it? I'm always bamboozled by the rays. Oh, he's got to follow because he's he's got guard there. Unless he's hitting the guarder now.
This is breaking down for Hiru somehow. This is very, very dangerous. <laughs> you can easily free this guy. Yeah, I think he needed that. Where he stands here. No, nope, no, I think he probably need to. Okay, well he's made this one. Probably still needs a GFI. But. Oh my goodness. Okay, well he rolled all of the dice there. About time he succeeded something. Didn't get any knockdowns, of course, but at least the um, desperation players are working for him. That wolf maybe should have geified right to stop the zombie retag. I mean, it's not an easy game still, is it? It's still tough. It's still tough. But, um... It's not as bad as it, it was. Like, he's still getting... <laughs> he's still getting knocked down and stunned and doing nothing himself. Which isn't... Isn't ideal. I thought he'd have done that the other way, actually, to free up the uh, Wraith, because the Fleshy needs to GFI here. There you go. Doesn't get the removal. <laughs> oh, the Wraith's in that square, so he didn't need to GFI with the Wraith. Like, it's really hard for me to know which square the Wraith's are in. Flip me. I might have to put the th the circles on just so I can see where wraiths are. Honestly. So yeah, tries to free them up with a zombie here. I like that. Oh, this is a mess, though, isn't it? Visually, it's an absolute mess. But when I'm playing, I think I'll have it on so I can just see where wraiths are. Again, going for the wolf hit. Wolf on wolf action. Still very strong for Dave who Hiru might just score early. Better than not scoring, isn't it? Oh, well, you can, no, you can't show them to always show, can you? You can't show them to always show. Maybe. Plus, like, they've got a guard above them. It's which square they're in. <laughs> That's the problem. They've got guard above them. It's it's underneath them. Like I could just can't really tell which square this floating thing is in. Okay, that was a nice that was a nice little move, wasn't it? This is uh, I might I you know I might just score here as Hiru. Like it really sucks, but like everything's based after all three pluses. He's got hardly any hits. A blockless block. where the three tassels are. Yeah, but they move around a bit as well, don't they? He's not going to score this turn. Which means he just has to put in a rerun. Like, it's a one in nine, right? I think you just score here as, as much as it sucks. Like, it really sucks. But, like... He gets away with it a little bit, right? This guy's still getting served unless he makes this one. So now he's got to reroll this as well. Nice to put him there. Doesn't. So now he makes this one. Who <laughs> he can put here and protect the uh, 
go and that should be enough I like maybe not like maybe here or something but um maybe here 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 I guess any of these like five squares any of these five squares so he still makes a screen with this guy and these three are probably better because you want a looser screen because it does enough Maybe one of these three. Okay, I don't think it matters too much where he is. As long as he's in that neck of the woods. And until we've got Blood Bowl Stockfish, we won't know what the right square was, I think. So yeah, I mean, he has got an extra turn of stall out of this, but it's cost him a reroll, right? And there's a good chance he needs, like, that one extra turn that he's given Andy to score back. There's kind of a good chance, I think, that the re-roll for Hiru is more impactful than one less turn for Andy. So, I'm not certain. I basically do nothing. Hello. Wow. <laughs> you you sound like my alt account. <laughs> I mean, they do all this shit and I don't know where they are. They're flipping in the air. But yeah, I guess, I guess try and just look at the tassels rather than the models. Hey, 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 Mount Ready. Way! I would have done loads better by not doing anything. Jesus. Ah, Ogres. Yeah. I know the struggle of Ogres. Ah, so we can bracket this one. And then blitz it with a wolf. So maybe he should have done the GFI with the, with the Wraith. To stop it getting blitzed. Oh, he can surf the wolf, can't he? Just sidestep here, and then sidestep there, and then get and then surf Andy's wolf. Let's go! Come on, hero! No! You went the wrong way, Hiru! <laughs> you went the wrong way! You could have served his wolf! He could have been here! Couldn't he? could have gone there with the first one. And then, like, there with the, I guess it's still a 3 plus away, but he would have had to have dodged away. Glorious face and do nothing. Yes, Mordred, it was. It was the AFK chops. Uh, no, I was chops, right? I, I was the chops. And then when he went AFK, I tried to score my bull centaur. So, like, I did a GFI with sprint sure feet and double one day and cast myself. <laughs> and, like, lost the ball and stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> I literally struggled more when the dude went AFK, yeah. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. The problem that now is like, yeah, making hits is good, but the problem that you face is if you um If you use a reroll, now you've got zero against Andy's defense offense. You've gotta hit the wolf though. I guess you've yeah, the wolf, the ghoul, I think you've gotta hit this ghoul. And it also lets you hit the wolf. Oh, but then you can't. Then you got to. Uh, then you got a two D block. Yeah, you got to do this. You got to do these hits. You got to blitz this guy. You got to blitz this guy, and then you got to hit the wolf. And then you can just push him to there anyway. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to... Oh, no. Oh, God, he's trying to stall. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Like, I get it, right? I get trying to stall. Because... If you give Andy four turns, he'll just score. Right? I get that completely. But also... If he don't... Like, he has to re-roll this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he makes that. Like, you'd have had to re-roll that. And then he's got no re-rolls. And again, like, he could have had no re-rolls in three turns to defend. I'd, I'd probably rather have um, two re-rolls and five turns to defend. But... It's paying off for him. You know, maybe I'm wrong, right? Like, I'm just saying this is what I prefer. That's all I can say. There is no Blood Bowl stockfish. Like, he's got, what, four or five players trying to stall out against seven. Which isn't, isn't a great trade. And he's getting panged down in this, in this area as well. So like even though he's he's outnumbering here, right? He's uh, here he was outnumbering five to four here, and yet he's still just giving up a hit and another hit, and then this guy's getting back as well, like potentially if he pushes them powers. For themed. I don't understand cock. Hello, though. Hey! Fiend. Luckily, I said fiend, so your, your pathetic schoolboy attempt at humour failed. So it's kind of worked for Hiru, kind of worked, but he's still got a dodge, hasn't he? Like, he just doesn't score one time, 11% of the time. He fails this, it's in the end zone, the ball could go anywhere, and he's got players to recover, he could go in 1-0 down. I really like just, uh, just getting the score done, personally. Tell you what though, fair play to Devo. He always seems to like win like the wolf blocking walls, right? Like okay, and this time he's decided against it just to get the wolf down. But like, he's always the one like making more hits with wolves and stuff. But again, he's played played more than everyone else with necros. But it's it's good having that, isn't it? Um, I think he just has to dodge. There's nothing safer. He for sure can't stall another another turn because he'd have to blitz this guy to go away, or you know, because he can't he can't stall by going in the end zone and then coming back out. There's no chain to be made because he'd have to hit from here, and these guys are all gone. So yeah, just a straight dodge, but he gets it. And now Andy only has three turns to score, which is, is not easy. Wolf's back. They're like the ultimate potato peelers, aren't they? Uh, if somebody makes a breakaway, they can just get them. Devil's got a cheerleader on his team rather than a uh, assistant coach. That's very interesting. I think most people have gone for the coach. Yep. But Devo's gone for the cheerleader and not the halfling cheerleader. That will be a significant upgrade 
when he unlocks the halfling cheerleader. That might change the meta in a Blood Bowl three tournaments from assistant coach to cheerleader when 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 the halfling cheerleader is available. Absolute god tier animation and uh, model. It's weird, isn't it? it's weird, isn't it? The cheering, the cheering fans is just worse, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the uh, cheerleader is just worse than the coach. <laughs> no, Mordred, I don't. <laughs> you know I don't. <laughs> it's actually mind-boggling, isn't it? It's mind-boggling that anybody at Cyanide thought this was a good idea. This is just just for your Apo, isn't it? Like it's abs it's absolutely nonsensical. Your head coach has got like a dugout box. Your Apo has got a dugout box. Like what the hell? Your cheerleaders have got like they've literally got the space for the dugout boxes. And then not use them. And got these things. Like, have some decorations. Literally, the space is there. And they're like, like, all the space in the world is there. And they're just like, no. There, of course, there's no chance. No. Of course, there's no chance. It's, I mean, the assets are made now, aren't they? So that's it. I guess, you know, they thought they had to, like, reinvent the wheel and stuff, but... Don't. You just don't. The dugouts have been boxes... ...for... ...38 years. <laughs> they did not have to change them. No, Mirko, no. P.I. Just a zombie. I like that these are stripey. Is is Devo a, a AC Milan fan? Does anybody know? Can anyone confirm whether Devo's an AC Milan fan? It's also like some, somebody's shit, isn't it? Like Birmingham, isn't it? Here he's just black and white. Almost stripes. Wait, the zombies have more of a kit than everybody else. It's not quite stripes, is it? It's like some weird half thing for Hiru. Or is just full stripes for Devil. Oh, reroll gone. The Dublay skulls. No breakthrough on turn one. That stun is pretty nice for him. He's got both wall centrals trying to break through the centre, so I guess Hiru should tighten up the centre a little bit. And maybe expose like one of the flanks a little bit. That's not that bad. Like the dub scores it doesn't matter, does it? Like he's still got two rerolls. The problem is like not getting anybody through here, right? The problem is like not blitzing this guy and getting somebody through. He just blitzed. This is, I like this from from Hiru, putting your best players here, right? The, the most reactive pieces to go for a counter score and stuff, if like Devo doesn't protect the ball properly. And then also, you can't blitz the wolves here, like Devo did, but you just can't because you've got three turns. So you can't really afford to waste a blitz on this guy. Like even if he powers him, it just doesn't do anything, right? For breaking through, so... Um, I like the setup from Hiru and don't like the blitz from Devo, but of course he would have got um some match equity had he made the uh had he made the knockdown.
Could put two players in and then blitz the fleshy and then base the ball, right? It's worth thinking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. Or like even double GFI, get right in front. Or maybe he could have blitzed the uh, Wraith and then moved this guy away for free. This is this is decent, isn't it? I guess um, if you support it with another guard, because you really do you really don't want those rates breaking through. So you want you really want to hold the middle pretty strong. I would say maybe get the other fleshy in there as well, or move them across a bit or something. Well, you've got the you've got the ghoul over here as well so you want to go definitely want to go more this side than that side you want to leave this side weaker if anything I wouldn't have hated following up there honestly and then putting the other wolf in the other wolf in the other fleshy in as well really wouldn't have hated that I think he's just got to put the wolf back a little bit, right? So it can't get uh, it can't get easily tagged. Maybe took the took. Oh shit! Okay. Um, okay. Well, I could. I think he had to hold here more. I think fleshy here, wraith there, and like wolf back a little bit, something like that. Because that's, I mean that's a good that's a good square to be fair for the wolf. That is a good square for the wolf. But there's still a chance of like block block blitz through. I still think it needed a bit more. Yep, that's what Devo starts with. <laughs> it seems the obvious player, doesn't it? Just block these two and then blitz him. And then get through. Oh my god, that's outrageously lucky. <laughs> because that was that was like holding the space, right? That knockdown was holding the space if he was in that square. He was holding the square, so that if this had been a push, you'd have been in all kinds of trouble. But um, because it's how it would have been all right in the end anyway. Oh, an instant one in there. Yeah, this is the problem. It was just like these guys can't score, right? Like he, Davo's got two wolves and a ghoul that can score. So I think it was definitely correct to like defend here, leave this a bit open because if if Devo gets around the corner, he's not getting forward very far, is he? Devo has to get in range this turn. This wolf isn't in range. He's really only got one player that can get in range. Let's go and try a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, and try to get in range with the wolf as well. I have a goo as well, but mostly he's just all in on the wolf. Could also just try double G if I were the goo, but now now the, the two, the, well, the one in nine and the dub scores are really bad, right? Because now if he had two rerolls, he'd be going for the double G if I were the goo, no question. I guess he's still going to have to. The fact that he's moved the wolf first, I think he's just going to double G if I here. Yep. Really nice, and look how much better it'd have been if he'd done what I'd said. <laughs> not to sound too big-headed or anything, but you know, like that's the thing, right? If if these had to go further around, it's just not. He's just not getting the same level of penetration. Anywhere near. And these guys aren't doing anything because they can't dodge anyway, right? So they're not really even doing anything over here. 
We just traded off. We traded off like a great player and a good defensive player for two guys who couldn't score. I guess this wolf can come around and then the wraith dodge blitzes. That seems like about all he can do. Fleshy 4 plus, it can't be a better shot than, than dodging with dodge. He's only got one reroll, right? He's got the the the, the yeah the ghoul's got dodge. Yeah. He could even um, he could have even like done one dodge, and then if he didn't pop dodge, try another dodge to save the GFI. Um, stand this guy up first. <laughs> um, ah, fair enough. Sea brawls. Oh. He makes the dodge. Only gets a push. <laughs> He's instantly into getting it pushed because he put his own wolf in to fill the square. Yep, that old torque. I need to fill it anyway right by blocking the wolf, but this is a very easy chain forward and then three plus to score. Okay, there we go, this is good. Uh, yeah, it's probably a good square, isn't it? It's pretty nice having those two there. It's a removal. Got to keep the flashy occupant. This is actually a pretty good turn from Hiru, I'd say. A pretty good turn. A bit of a pickle for Devo. Just block this guy, block this guy, chain into there, and then... No, oh, you... Oh, my God, Hiru. You can't let him move the, the guard in for the blitz. You can't do that. Oh, how could you do that, Hiru? Literally, how could you do that? Okay, he's dub scold again. But he just needs to push him. And because of this dodge, he's got the guard to make this a 2D. You couldn't make that dodge. Oh, my God. How would you make that dodge, Hiru? How? Why, Hiru? Why? <laughs> I guess maybe even Devo's thinking about blitzing with a fleshy himself, right? In case, uh, in case it's a push, and then guaranteeing like a four-three rather than no, because that just guarantees a four-three anyway, doesn't it? No, you've got you've got to just blitz. I guess the both down, that's fine as well. And you've got you've got to uh, you've got to just put in the fleshy here and blitz with a goo, I think, or maybe like. Block there. Surely it's just put in the guard. I can't believe he made that. Again, not really criticizing Hiru because uh, <laughs> what I did was very much worse. Okay, so that one to get this. And then he comes in. And the yeah, okay, so blockless blocks, but worth it. Gets the push. Ah, oh, thanks, Dario. A GFI without a reroll. He makes it. Flip me. I hate that the rerolls had already come back because the game had already decided what had happened and then returned the rerolls for the second half. 
lost a bit of suspense somehow, even though it didn't matter, because, you know, it was still going to be the, the last action of the half, but it still somehow made it weird. But uh, So there you go, three turn score from Andy. Uh, big mistake, that, that dodge from Hiru. Because I just don't feel like it was doing much, that much if it made it. Maybe it wasn't bad, right? Maybe it wasn't bad. Maybe, it, you know, three, two times out of three it makes it significantly stronger. Maybe it's just I didn't... I didn't hmm, maybe it was... Maybe it was, maybe it was... Do you know what? It probably was right. It probably was right. Because here's the thing. Even if Andy just has to 1D that, it's still a 2+, plus, right? It's still just a 2+, plus to move it with all the other hits first. It's still just a 2+, plus to move that goal. So, yeah, I guess Hiru was right to dodge that. It's just that it's one of those that it looks like it's wrong because it left the fleshy free to move in. But had he had a you know a block sidestepper in there with guard, it would have made everything so much harder. Maybe it was, yeah, it probably was correct. Well, well played, Hiru. If you're watching the replay, Hiru, <laughs> don't get mad because I said it was bad at first because it turned out to be good and I was wrong. I'm fine to admit when I'm wrong. So now I don't like the wolves here, right? Because now, um, now the uh, and he is going to hit the wolves, and and he's not trying to break through on turn one. So now the wolves are just terrible here. They're just getting punished for no reason. Yeah, but the. He, he doesn't want to 1D. <sighs> yeah, maybe. The, I guess that 1D is better than the Wraith Dodge. Yeah, that 1D is better than the Wraith Dodge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That 1D is definitely better than the Wraith Dodge. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, good point, Maud Ready. So, yeah, so the, the Wraith Dodge was necessary, but it would have been better if it had been... But then, no, the Ghoul Dodge, didn't it? So the Ghoul did dodge. Mm. No... I like the ghoul going first. Wow, well done, Captain Mullins. Oh, fails the pickup. It's on the sideline. Do you re roll? Divo's probably getting a little bit tilted now, I'd say. Um, you know, with those dub skulls, like rolling the two dub skulls and the one in nine and the fail pickup, right? Gonna feel gonna feel more hard, more hard done by than he is, right? Like it's one one, he's receiving, he's on course to win two one unless something strange happens. But one of those things where as you're playing it, you're thinking, fuck me, I'm getting diced here, when really nothing's uh nothing like nothing untoward is happening at all really. Just one of those things. Indeed, because you be oh, you lost ninety. Okay. <laughs> okay, this wolf. He's got to protect this wolf now, hasn't he, uh, Hiru? Which that's probably enough. It is interesting, isn't it? The sa the stand firm, the sidestep, the guards, the claws, the frenzy. There's a lot to think about in the neck roll. Like, just to all the gameplay, it's a bit more thinky than just herp derp base, base, base. Um, yeah, they're pretty interesting. They're OP. Not as OP as knobs, Dimmy. I don't think they're OP at all. I think, I think this package is really nice for them, right? Tier 3 with this pack is very, is very favourable. But uh, I don't think they're OP at all. It definitely helps that Davos played like, you know, a hundred games or whatever with them. Yeah. He is Dwyer, he is. But what he does is he's always making sure that he's the one getting the claw hits, right? And like minimizing his opponent's claw hits, right? Straight away, right? Look, look at this turn, right? He can... It's a bit dangerous, this claw hit, but he's he's still got a claw and a fleshy, right? 
So I, well, maybe. Yeah, he looks like he's got a core hit on a flashy and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? They've got eight positionals. They're all good. They're all kind of indispensable in a way. Like, each positional out is really bad, right? Losing a Wraith is terrible. Losing a Fleshy is awful. Losing a Wolf is awful. And you've only got four players who can score, so losing any of those is awful as well. So it's... Uh, they're a weird team. They seem quite dicey, right? Like, when they're up players, millions of hits with Claw, gang fouls, incredible ones they're up players. This is... I'm not so sure about this one. I feel like it might have been better to have done the fleshy hit there so that you can then wolf hit Hiru's fleshy and then blitz the wraith afterwards. But, um, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Goblin mirrors. So, I don't know who's posing. Who's posing? Wait, no, they're not posing. They're disconnected. Somebody's disconnected. Flip me. Hiru says, fucking positional bug. So, something's happened. Foul appearance. So foul appearance kills the blitz. So, oh, so he's going to do the blitz first. Yeah, so we're doing it this way. Because he got the power on the first hit. If he'd, if he'd got the power on the second hit, he could have gone there and then he could have blitzed and he could have had the block into the fleshing. Which is really good, isn't it? But he got the power straight away. And then... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like he did, he still kind of needed the push. This is just a little bit. I'm not certain about this from day one. I still think maybe blocking with the fleshy was better, just to get this hit in. Two into two, and then maybe blitz the wraith after. Did the did the fleshy did the wolf just frenzy trap himself? Oh my goodness. Outrageous. I mean he's seventy five percent knockdown, isn't he? So there you go. I wouldn't like it. <laughs> I would not have done that. One in four as a frenzy trap yourself, but seventy four seventy five percent you knock them down, don't you? So calculated risk. I really, really, really didn't like it, but, um, yeah, it's, it's three times out of four, it's a good move, isn't it? It's interesting. Oh, wow. Hiru said three times when Andy pushed my guys, the guys go two squares away. That is pretty brutal, isn't it? Yeah, like, you know, Wolves are a dicey... Wolves. Necro are a dicey team, aren't they? So, like, that's a, that's a dicey move. 75% knockdown. 25% you uphill. And you get yourself into, like, the middle of the opposing team. Ready to get knocked down with Claw and uh, Gang Fouled. But, <laughs> three times out of four, it's all right. Gobbles, no. I mean, Gobbles aren't really the best fouling team. They get the best fouling player, right? The uh, the Ulligan is incredible, starting with DP and then just getting sneaky get instantly. He's the best player for sure. I did take Josh Allen in the draft. 
Yes, BB not I did, and uh, yeah, I'm a little concerned. Of course I am. Of course I am. I had Josh Allen. The first season I had Patrick Mahomes. Second season I had Josh Allen, and third season I've had Josh Allen. So there you go. He's pretty good, isn't he? He got me thirty points. It is its non throwing hand, but still. You need your hands, don't you, to do things. He's not a squirrel. This half man's here from here who is just letting Dave OT off on him, really, isn't it? Do I not like this? Honestly, it's probably worth watching Davo's games of uh, neck rolls because you know he always seems to be the one making the wolf hits and not giving up wolf hits on defense. I really struggle with them on defense. Looks like Hiru's really struggling with them on defense as well. You've got like four players that are incredible at getting hit, and four players that are terrible at getting hit, right? But the thing is, the Wraiths aren't really incredible at getting hit. They're still just armor rate dudes, you know? And then your fleshes are armor 9 defenseless. So your fleshes aren't even that great at getting hit either. So you don't really have four players that are getting great at getting hit. But they kind of feel like they're great at getting hit, but they're not. It's a weird team. A very weird team. And it's definitely one where, you know, Andy's experience makes a big difference. Oh my god. <laughs> Dave was really, really going for the uh the greedy bangingness there. But got away with it. Saved by foul appearance. <laughs> yeah, zombies are still armor eight as well, right? Right. Like, the zombies are defenseless armor eight. Wolves are armor eight. Like it's all just like very scary. Not as scary as a danger wank, of course, but very scary. got to what he's got to wraith the fleshy and then if he gets it zombie the wraith and then wolf something There's a removal. The first removal of the game for Hiru. And it's a zombie. But it's still a man up. Hmm, I think I might have gone for hitting the Wraith there. Might keep the cause then you keep the wolf like surrounded by guard. And uh and you might pop, you might splat his garter, and then that makes it easy for you to get the wolf hit, uh, the yeah the wolf hit in. You can be my wingman anytime. Not sure though. Well, Did he just not blitz? Oh no no he blitzed with it he blitzed with it. Good didn't he? Yuddy! What a leg what a leg end. Thank you very much, Judlegar. Glorious raid. 
How's the stream been? I, I assume you've been playing Undead. Oh, well, there we go. Um, Hiru removed a zombie. So Andy removes a fleshy. <laughs> playing Halflings and Conceding. <laughs> <laughs> that is the ultimate way to win for the goblins, yeah. Take the, uh, take the, uh, win into your own hands. Gets the knockdown on the gowl. Nothing. <laughs> hey, hey, Dibby. Banter. None of them have those next level strats that I do, Dimmy. Double G if I for do, will flip me. Oh man. I'll never live that down. I just I will never understand not not only will I never live that down, I'll also never understand what happened. What happened on that day? Pow. Wait. Oh, he chose the... Wait. Oh, yeah, he chose the ball. Oh, I was completely bamboozled there. Devo's got all four guards together. Very good. But this guy is pick offable. But only like only the wolf pick offable, right? Could probably come in and blitz blitz the fleshy here. I mean he definitely could come in. Yeah, you just stand these up. So you can blitz the fleshy here, uh Hiru. And probably should. What's the best team to build a pure fouling team? Um, probably undead, right? Because you start with mummies, with mighty blow, and then you can ghouls get. Dirty player and sneaky get on normals. <laughs> the, I mean, the the Ooligan is the best player, isn't he? The Ooligan is the best player. For it. Enough <laughs> sea pictures. It's not the best, is it? I think he should have. I think he should have wolf blitzed him. Wouldn't have broken AV anyway, but you know, could have, uh, could have either assisted. No, no, I guess he had to put in the wraith there, and then blitz from here, and then push him into the fleshy. Pretty bad for Hiru being down a fleshy. All the guard together is very strong for Dave, wasn't it? But then he does have to defend the ball. So, you know, and Hiru's got some threat around the back and sides, right? He's got the side stepper on this side and a defenseless ghoul. Well, not defenseless, dodge ghoul. And he's got the wolf and a goo around this side, so he's got he's got a little bit around both sides. So this isn't easy for Devo. Instant AV break. <laughs> Oh, foul appearance. 
that was actually a pretty great foul appearance for Hiru, wasn't it? Because otherwise he could have followed and then got 2D on this wolf. Or 2D on this guy and then hit the wolf with, a, with his wolf. Like all sorts of things were possible. But um, yeah, I really needed just a push on that hit. Full pow. Doesn't it V break? But there is there is the small matter of protecting the ball. I feel like this wolf should have like come round like overloaded around this side a bit more, right? Foul appearance saves him from a 2D. How will the ball carry it? <laughs> Into stun. So... You know, two great foul appearances for Hiru, but also two star positional stun with another one removed. So, a uh, pretty great turn for Andy, actually. Is he going to go frenzy trapping himself again? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> like the problem here is, yeah, he's got these things. Like, this is why, like, if this guy had come around here and overloaded this a bit, he would have had options. But because he didn't, he held a, basically a space he didn't need to hold, right? This guy had come around. He, even here, it means so much stronger for Hiru. But now, what does he have? Not a lot. Could go there for an assist. And, like, you know, try and what, 2D him there and then dodge with him for the guard, but then he can't hit. Wolf couldn't come all the way around, probably. So he, he 2Ds him and pals him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> so he 2Ds him and pals him. The ghoul comes all the way around to here. This ghoul comes all the way around to here. And then this wolf comes all the way around and hits the... Hits the... Uh, ghoul. It's like pretty rubbish, but uh, and maybe you shouldn't do it because the two stuns. But then, if you don't do it this turn, then he's just going to be past you next turn, probably. Four out of four foul opinions failed. Good job, good job, Hero too, because the two guys that got hit got f flipping stunned, didn't they? <laughs> Pretty incredible, isn't it, Dwyer? To be fair, it's easier to concentrate on the match solo. That, like, that's the. It's much easier to concentrate on the match solo than it is uh, with funny people about. I really don't hate going for this, right? You can. Uh, okay. That's actually worse now. <laughs> <laughs> that makes the wolf hit what the wolf blitz worse, so he might just may not be going for it now. Th this zombie could have gone in there. And then you could have gone for you could have gone for all those things that I said. Like it's not great, obviously, but Yeah. It 
it's just not getting him anything here, is it? Let's get the power, he might get a removal. No, but a stun, that helps. That even the odds a little bit. And a power there. He's got to try to dodge a school away, hasn't he, at the end? Probably just like backing up. Just to there, maybe. Maybe there, so he's got another player next to him for like frenzying and stuff. Yeah, it was a good turn, wasn't it? It was a good turn. But this is the turn after the two stuns. So and he'll get moving this turn, I would think, somehow. Maybe just blitz this ghoul and push down a little bit. Hasn't been easy, friend. Although he made those, oh wow, one and nine. Although he made all those stuns, he hasn't got anywhere, has he? And he sized up on the ball here, which is lovely. He's still got the wolf blitz, right? But it is into a a trap unless he brings the ghoul over. So yeah, that, that again. So this is just now not not going forward, isn't it? You want to just uh, go here or here, right? So you can you can keep him in or right, there, he is, there, whatever. You want to keep him on the uh, on the ghoul if he didn't power you. Oh, I still like coming back here. Come back here to... Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's fair. Maybe that was, maybe that was the best square. So then if he powers you, you, go there. And if he pushes you, you, go back there. Yudi still streaming. In case you're not looking at chat but listening, Yudi. <laughs> Hasn't moved his wolf yet. Indeed, Star DK, yeah. I mean, you never know, though, right? You never know. Um, there's still a chance for, like, something to go wrong in Hiru to uh, take advantage. Wolves are very quick, so it's possible. But, yeah, it's looking looking a lot better for Hiru now, right? Because next turn is Devo's turn to get forward. And his four mobile players are still in his own half. So, now Hiru recovers the... Uh, Stun players, he's already done that. He's just got to get in the way of all of this shit. I have not tried Ultra Smurfs too, no, I, I'm not excited by, uh, by Ultramarines, to be honest.
Space Marine 2. Doesn't get the knockdown. I wonder if there was some way to like do better than this, Feru, right? Because like somehow, somehow, oh, as deep as Devo is, he's somehow got everybody together. And all of Hiru's team are stuck in the middle, not being able to do anything. He's gonna get like, gonna get this fully caged, isn't he? Maybe Hiru has to do like a frenzy trap on this wraith here. Yep, I think he has to re roll this. Oh god. <laughs> Honestly, do you know what he could have done? Okay, well, he gets the power. He's got it. He's got a four plus three plus this uh, this ghoul out. He could have done it first, right, to stop the frenzy trap. I think he's got a four three this out. Oh, okay. No, I think he had to because it's just the zombie can just punch him. I think he had to four three out the ghoul. Smile is just loads of bushing that button mashing. Yeah, I don't know what this. He probably didn't see which square. He probably didn't see because the wraith, right? Wraith obstructed the view of the uh, thing. If he was like here or something, because he just moved it to there, or he had a different angle. Maybe he just doesn't see the doesn't see that guy there. Forgot about that one. I think I think honestly, um, Hiru had to four three this guy out because he just get in, he just gets instantly powered by the zombie, which is what happened. And the zombie's only moving four, right? So the zombie it's not even costing Andy a piece, right? He's just he's just punching him with that's all this guy can do. Is clear the is clear the goo. So the four three would have put in there, and it makes the screen like loads better. Even just one dodge would have meant Andy needed an assist to clear him. So even if he'd like pop dodge on the first dodge, it would have helped a lot. That's the pal. Another rear V break. <laughs> so we've seen typical uh, typical results for Devo of, of constant stuns, but he does he does consistently engineer you know good wolf hits so it's not all it's not all the dice i don't oh he's sideline caging he loves the sideline cage doesn't he dave oh, i've noticed i've noticed with these necro he does a lot of sideline caging Hate sideline caging, but um, he's not afraid of it. So six plus in, and then uphill. Shame he hasn't got a reroll, but it's the only play, right? Like ev everything was here, everything was left here because it was all stunned. <laughs> um, so yeah, six plus in and surf. A better chance than he should have had, really. Jamie ain't got the re-roll, but he's 30% in, and then I don't know what the uphill is for pushes, but it's, uh, I 
What is it, 55 or something? I don't even know. 44? Maybe it's 44. You've got to get two 66s, haven't you? So it's got to be 44. Yeah. Yeah, 4 out of 9, yeah. 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 So it's like 15... Well, like 13%, something like that, right? I think he just had to do that. Funnily enough, he rolled a six on the foul appearance and a push and a pow on the block dice. <laughs> so if that had been a dodge, he would have gotten it. <laughs> yes, exactly. This just doesn't seem enough, does it? Like, maybe it is. Maybe it is. But it sure doesn't seem enough. <laughs> maybe Torek, yeah, maybe. <laughs> the stun helps a lot. But it still seems very easy to sort out unless we're like making fleshy dodges. Oh no, no, he can he can power this guy. He can free the fleshy. Dude, this guy has to base. Freeze the fleshy. This guy had to do something that wasn't this, I think. I think this guy had to at least base there. Random defensive on a goblin. I guess it depends on, like, your TV, right? And what you matching into and what you want to induce and stuff um on fumble Art decided on 730 for flings so we could get rumbelo and a apple uh rumbelo and a chef versus starting teams so i guess you would you would pick your tv that you need for your goblins and then if it's under there you keep it and if it's not you don't Oh, he didn't hit with a fleshy! He didn't hit with a zombie! Yeah, you got to f free the fleshy up, right? And then whack the fleshy in there. And then this guy could have double GFI. That that was the play, surely. Was this zombie blocks. One, two, three, four. Fleshy's in there. And then this guy moves at the end, double GFI. That had to be the best. Oh, this guy can come up the run, come around the back, though. He can double geofighter there. Do you know what? This guy could have this guy could have based this wolf. And then this guy can come around the back and base that wolf from the back. With a double geofire. That's not terrible, is it? But no, I, if you're doing that, you definitely if this was your plan, you definitely do the hit with a zombie and get the fleshy in. A million percent. So, you know, maybe it's a misclick or, or a mistake. Of course, I would never make a mistake um, ever in a game and just let somebody get served for no reason. So, you know. Yeah, it's not even a frenzy trap because he's got the guard there. And then you can put the ghoul in anywhere and then blitz with a wolf. And I don't know why this guy wasn't doing something else. But Hiru's got a 1 in 9 chance. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, it was yesterday, Gralius, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I wasn't thinking anything. And then let it get another surf as well. So, one in nine. I did the jump because he's got the re-roll. <laughs> oh, very good. That was, of course, strictly worse. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, it, there could be a timeout. And then Andy would have been without a re-roll rather than if he dodged. So it was, this was just definitely 100% incorrect. But, funny. If I ever did that, it would guarantee reroll usage and timeout. <laughs> One million percent. <laughs> but there you go, and you obviously really hard, really hard to one turn against the uh, stand firm and sidestep. So here you've got to play for the quick snap and maybe dodging here and blitzing this guy two back and then pu pu pushing the wolf forward like that somehow. Maybe quick snap and pushing him back to something like this. There's a chance he's not going to try. There were chances, right, with um, with timeout and with quick snap. There were chances, but um, it certainly wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy, and it was like you know, it was only setting up for one or two kickoff results. But it was probably worth doing, depending on you know how much brain power you wanted to expend. Um, so there you go. Congratulations, Andy. I thought he did. I thought he did play better in every drive, um, and I think that's the biggest thing is is just the experience. You know, like he just he does get the best out of them, doesn't he? Probably more so than he does any other team. So there you go. Congrats to Andy. Commiserations to Hiru. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Oh yeah, and Hiru played well as well. Like, there's no no dissing Hiru. Hiru didn't do anything like what I did last game. Um, I think he played well. There was there were a few things that, but you know, that I think particularly in the last turn, right? I think were a bit, bit dodgy, but um, but overall very good. Yeah, and uh, there you go. Stay fantastic.